Welcome to PC Wits Kits Tech Talk. Today I wanted to do part two of the HD4870 Toxic Edition from Sapphire. This card comes already pre overclocked, like I mentioned in my first review. We're going to go into the ATI Catalyst drivers and look at the ATI Overdrive utility. So that portion allows you to manually adjust and overclock the GPU memory and the core memory here, the memory clock and of course check and see and monitor how it's doing right so that's one of the beauties about this you can do everything from here now I like to do things manually you can obviously use the auto tune button there in the top right corner or the slider here to adjust it in small steps so you know that this card came at 780 uh, megahertz GPU clock and 1000 memory clock so I'm increasing it a little bit 1055 megahertz here and then click on test and test it see if it passes right it'll run some stress tests initially to see if it hangs and if it doesn't you accept it and then you can further um, stress test this on your own now I suggest that you increase the fan okay so the fan by default comes set it comes set to auto so you don't want to run it in auto you want to manually override that and increase the fan speed I know it's going to be loud but you don't want your GPU to burn out so increase that slider slide it over at the beginning you might be running it too fast and maybe giving it too much uh, cooling but you can never have enough at the beginning later on you could always decrease it and monitor the temperature and see if it makes a difference right so after you've done your adjustments then you can apply it and then keep monitoring keep running tests and and stress test it now the GPU settings can all be monitored and checked also from the GPU dash Z tool right so if you download that you can Google it it's a free utility gives you all the information about when it was made the die size the memory clock speeds the bandwidths all of that is in here so that you can uh, basically get all the specs right of your card and of course what did the card came as default for the GPU and the memory clock and what it's set to right now so you can see you know how much difference you've applied to it uh, all in one little spot so this is a very nice little tool now um, after you check this and you use this to monitor right of course your your um, your video card next thing to do is to run um, uh, some benchmarks now just before I do that there's also another utility called the AMD GPU clock tool that you can get for free and it also allows you to overclock and increase in small steps and in small increments the memory and the GPU clock speed or you can obviously reset things now my um, system specs for benchmarks here are basically the same as in part one nothing has changed okay so that's gonna be the same 3 gigahertz Phenom that I'm gonna run this at 3d mark 06 when I ran that gave me uh, a fairly a decent score of 12,607 3D marks compared to two other systems which have uh, same same CPU but two different video cards the 4850 times 2 and the GTX 260 those two had a higher 3D mark but those are higher end cards so they're newer right so they're a little bit faster but overall I was very pleased with the uh, 3D marks and the 3D mark advantage that I was getting and when I ran crisis warhead benchmarks for example I, I, I went and I got the uh, latest crisis warhead not the first but the second version I turned on everything basically to uh, very high full-blown uh, settings but I ran it at 1024 by 768 resolution just for starters just to see on the ambush level see uh, how it does right and that one basically gave me about 28 frames per second at that um, at that setup benchmark setup now of course if I adjusted the resolution to 1280 by 1024 and reduced it from very high to high then I got 34 frames per second so you can adjust it a little bit back and forth and get more frames per second on that right sometimes you don't even notice a difference but it was very smooth very nice so again so this gives you a good idea on how well this card performs when it's overclocked and you compare it to other types of cards. So again, I'd like to thank Sapphire for providing me this card, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.